Hey guys, what's up? It's the Snake Today Team 14 here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly make Crested Gecko diet. For those of you who are my subscribers that have Crested Geckos, this will be a great review for you if you want to continue to watch. But mainly, I figured this video is for the people who are thinking about owning a Crested Gecko, and one of the key components of owning one is feeding it. Now, Crested Geckos are a fruit-eating gecko. Generally, on their island of New Caledonia, they'll be eating fruit off the forest floor that has fallen, as well as occasional insects. However, the fruit diet that I will be showing you guys here is pretty much a necessity you will need for keeping your geckos. So, I will show you the key components, and then we'll get on to making it. Let's go. So, when it comes to feeding your gecko, there are many options. I currently have two of the most popular brands. That is the Rapashi Crusty Gecko Formula. And then there's also the Pangea. I like the Pangea a lot. In fact, this is what I will be using for these three geckos. Like I said, there are two in here. And uh, I even use this for the one that I'm currently keeping. These three are just being washed by me temporarily. But I figured they'd be a great example on how you would want to set up food for a baby gecko. And it's pretty simple. Uh, you give them food in these little plastic cups, deli cups, there's different options. I like these because they're cheap. They're, you just change them out when they get dirty. As you can see, they do sometimes get dirty, but once you change them, it's nice and easy. And there's one of the little geckos that will be getting fed today. And yeah, let's get on to making it. So when you are getting ready to prepare your gecko, I like to have the feeding dish. Uh, really, like I said, I'm just using the basic little deli cups. And then we're going to use the Pangea powder. Uh, this specific flavor is the banana and apricot flavor. It comes in many flavors. There's even an insect one, which I haven't tried yet on my own personal gecko. But uh, I've had friends who tried it, and they said they're getting decent results on it. So what we'll do is we'll take our deli cup, and I'm going to open the bag here quickly. And you don't want to pour too much. Remember, it depends on the size of your gecko. So for the little babies that I'm going to be feeding... Um, uh, you want to sort of have it be a blend of applesauce, so I just sprinkled enough to just cover the bottom. Uh, and this might even be a little bit too much, but this is about the amount you want. So what you do is I'm over the sink, and I'm just going to turn some water on right here. And I'm just going to very lightly fill it up. And then what you do is, I, you can use your finger. I like to be nice and quote-unquote professional and I just stir it and then really you mix it so it's almost like an applesauce consistency or a baby food and let it, I mean just you want to sort of you'll notice there's little chunky bits in there you want to really break it up uh, like I said because that powder will stick together so once you really stir it up and you might it might take you a couple seconds or so I just want to really get it nice and stirred up and there you have it. That is your prepared gecko diet. Um, I mean, really, again, there's different flavors. The rapashi is set up the exact same way. Otherwise, now, we put it in our baby gecko's tank, and they get to eat for the night. Okay, guys, so our little baby gecko is fed. I'm going to prepare the other batch of food after this video. But I hope you guys found this video helpful if you plan on owning a crest gecko. They're such a rewarding species to keep, super easy, and like I said, they're a great animal if you don't want to feed insects because they eat that powder. They can be fed insects, but it's not a necessity, so kind of a bonus factor. Otherwise, though, if you like the video, leave a like, and if you want to see any video requests, I will gladly make a video for you guys. I love that you guys watch my videos, so I like to make videos for you in return. And until then, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 300, actually. We're about 40 subs away, and we really skyrocketed during my last Reptile Room tour. So thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.